guys and welcome back to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka kia the crafter welcome back welcome back thank you guys for being here and watching today i greatly appreciate you all and if you like what you'll be seeing here on my videos please hit subscribe like the notification button and like the channel leave comments i appreciate all feedback so that i can get better and serve you better with more tutorials and in-depth videos to what you like so today what we making is my favorite again another resin purse um i have been doing so well with these i only have one left so far so we're gonna do something a little different today and i'm gonna show you what i did to the frame and some couple of bonuses so make sure you watch the video all the way through so with that being said let's get started on this resin pour so today we're gonna do a blue yes nice little blue jeans and I have my powders here uh, Michael powders I'm gonna bring them so you can see them have my dark blue I'm gonna mix this twice with some acrylic paint to make it a navy because I want a darker I have this one and these are all kind of like iridescent pearly type powders and this is like a bluish let me see if I can get it back so you can see it without the glare from the light it's like a bluish silverish kind of color so when I lay them down there you can kind of see the the blue variations that we're gonna put into the purse I've already I'm mixing up seven ounces of resin and that should be enough to fill the mold and we're going to get ready to start designing designing this purse. We're going to throw some silver and some glitter and flakes up in here. And just really um, jazz this one out. This one is going to be a little bit different. Kind of the same concept, but the design that I have in mind is going to be a little bit more jazzier. So let's get going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this resin which I've already pre-poured and I'm going to start high because they say when you pour high you can kind of get some of the bubbles out and so I'm going to pour just a little bit in there to mix with some color I have another cup over here and I'm going to pour some in that one as well and these are just I'm, and it's, you don't have to measure the colors I just want to make sure that I kind of you know give it a little bit of uh, everything so I'm gonna do that second one then we're gonna come back and find another cup because I want to mix another another little color up in here and I have some other mixing cups somewhere sorry guys if I'm blocking your view hold tight let me get some cups hold on one second okay I'm back had to get some small cups and so these are just be the one one color and then we'll mix the navy in one and then the rest we'll use for our clear and I probably pour you pour a little bit of the other two back in here just a smidgen because this is going to be my clear cup And if you find these, and I just kind of got these in a the kit, but these are these silicone little small cups like this is perfect. I love those. These are okay for jewelry, but I in small pours, but I really like them. Them kind of fit a little bit of everything. So, and where are they? Okay, I can't find my little uh, spoons that I just bought them. I hate when that happens, but so we're going to go ahead and use our popsicle sticks to get the mica powder out. And I'm going to put a dab in that one. 
where it stick. And I hope that's enough. We're going to put a dab of this other one where it stick. And this is like the nice, that's the pretty, pretty. All of them are so gorgeous. And it I don't think it take as much as I'm putting in here. But I want to make sure that they are colored real nice. This is the darker one. And I'm going to put this in two because I'm going to mix one of them with acrylic, um, a darker navy. This is pretty. So I want to do a lot of that there. And then a little bit there. And we'll keep that. We'll go for them too. I didn't mean to put that in there, but... This one will add the clear. We'll throw the glitter in there. And real quick, some silver flakes. Got some flakes here we're going to throw up in here. We want this to pop. This bag is going to be everything. And I'm specifically making this to go with like everyday blue jeans. Um, and all of that good, good, good stuff. Okay, so we're going to mix this. I'll mix this up. That's pretty. That's gorgeous. I'll mix that. We're gonna mix this one. And if y'all can see them. And I'm pretty sure the camera does not do this justice. And I'm mixing so quick, so be careful when you mixing because that powder it just kind of sits. And that's kind of that one. Real pretty. Show you this one. That's that one. Real pretty. That's real pretty. So we got that going. Let's get these going. And we're going to mix these smaller ones real slow. Uh, and this is like an electric blue. This is real pretty. So I'm going to show you that. Y'all see that? Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Real pretty. And I'm just slowly mixing this. But what I want to do is make one of them dark. So the one that's got the most in it, I'll make that one. Or maybe this one. Cause I didn't put that much in it and it probably probably will mix mix better because I want it to be like a navy color so we got to spruce it up a little bit to make it darker and what I do to make my navy is I add purple couple drops of purple in there and I, I think that was only like two two little small drops and that's just gonna darken it up a little bit and if it don't give me the desired color that I'm looking for I might add a dab of black just to cause see it didn't get it didn't make it too much darker not too much so I might need to add when I say just a little bit of black, and I don't have any, um, so I'm gonna add, boom, just one drop. So this is a mixture paint. And that's just to get it a little dark. 
I just hope it don't overpower it. It don't look like it did. To give me that navy color. Yeah. Oh, man. That's gorgeous. And it's got that pearl effect in there, too. Let me start this up real good. Okay. Now, see, that's that navy. And so I got several shades of blue. And then last but not least, my silver. That 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 is gorgeous. That's pretty. Oh my goodness. That is gonna be everything. Now it makes me want to do have more of this color. Because it's so dark, it's so pretty. And I think I'm going to pour just a little bit of that in there just to blend it, make it just a little bit more bluer. But you just kind of mix your colors together until you get the desired colors you want. And I'm just making sure I mix it good. To get the desired color and that's my navy that's pretty okay now we got that together let's go ahead and mix up this silver and we're gonna mix up this silver and clear and then the flakes went in as a like a nice little um bulk piece but once you stir it up in there it breaks up pretty good so there you go you see that breaks up pretty good and this is just to add some clear see-through and shimmer and glitter and glitz to it because we gonna it's gonna be a glitzy bag but it's gonna be super not too glitzy to where you can't wear it with your blue jeans but it's gonna give your outfit exactly that extra that you need okay so let's get to pouring what i want to do is i'm going to start with this color because this is this color is so super pretty and it reminds me of a blue jean a light blue jean i just want to make sure we get it stirred pretty good that that i just got off the stick and so i'm gonna take all my sticks out and lay them to the side so that all I have to do is pour. Because now they all are pretty much. This one still got some on there. I need to be mixed in. Pretty much ready to go. We're going to start with the darker colors, well, the lighter colors, and then work our way with the dark. So I'm going to start with this blue. And um, how we want to go, we still going to, we going to go side, sideways like we've been going. Throw that in there. Come here. contrast with this blue contrast with that one contrast here see that one's gone already so we can just add like a little bit and then what I want to do is run this blue over the edges so that it will start to form along the front, the um, sides and start mixing the colors. I'm going to come back with the other blue here. And this is like an iridescent. It's light, but it's a different contrast. Come here, this side, and I think I'm going to come right here in the corner with that. OK, 
come with my silver right here. Now it's gonna the resin is gonna move and do again like it wants to do, but. You can kind of lay it and pour it where you want it to go for the most, you know, for the most part. Like, I know I want clear in certain places, so that's what I'm going to do. And I can come back with this here in this corner. And maybe here. Um, going to come with this one. Let me get a stick. Because that navy, I'm just going to accent it with this dark color. So, I'm going to come back here, add some of this in here. Right in this corner. Just kind of let that... Right. And let's see. We want to come with this. And I'll add some here. Just kind of thicken that up. And I'm just accenting with this navy. Oh, that navy is so pretty in there. And I just want this to be real deep I'm gonna put a little bit of stream right just the accent nothing major here and then the rest I'm gonna add uh, Probably in this little area, right along here. And you just kind of design it how you want it to look. You know, your eye will tell you what you want to see. In art, I just believe that. And just trust. No one knows... Um, your mistakes with you because it's art and so don't be so critical and so hard on yourself when you're creating take your time enjoy it enjoy the process trust the process as they say and then we'll add let me see, I need somewhere to put this, so I'll put it in this corner, a little bit there, maybe a little bit here.
little bit right on the corner of this. Right there. This is pretty. And we'll see how everything comes out. And so for the rest of this, I'm just going to pour it right where it's our right where it already is just to give it some volume so we'll just kind of come back like so and then i still got some clear left and it'll feel finish this side super cute this is coming out like my eyes showed me it would so we just Designing and pouring. Now, the last little bit of clear we got left, and I'm just going to fill in areas. So, along here will be good. Throw a little, throw a little bit right there. And what it does, it moves the resin out of the way. What's ever there, it'll move it. So, and then like on this one, I'm just going to, well, I probably need to feel, feel this right in this little spot. Because remember, this got the glitter and it's the clear. So we just really want to fill it. Kind of where it already is because we want to keep this this is going to be so stinking cute i am super happy about this one and i wanted to do like a silver one because we wear a lot of silver stuff and most of the brackets and the and the um molds are gold so i had to manipulate my design to fit what i wanted and then i went to a store and i found this chain so i am like super i'm gonna put that right there because i need that to clear up be a little clear right there right in that spot so seven ounces is the perfect amount to fill the um, purse mold. Seven ounces, and you got plenty. You, I'm, t I'm totally full here, and I have no resin left. So that is the perfect um, measurement of, of resin for the purse mold. Is seven ounces, guys. Now, um. This purse will be available on my store. It is up. Um, the purses that is there, I have to mark as so, but I will recreate them according to, um, you know, what people want. But this purse will also be listed on the store, Um, And this will be up for purchase. She is cute already and I, I like her already so we're gonna let this cure and come back and take a, take a look at it make sure we everything is everything so now I'm just letting it sit for a minute while I clean up and then I'm gonna torch it to um get rid of the bubbles and go from there so like these i would probably i'm gonna try to keep them but i'll probably throw them away because yeah this is too much to try to clean all that but um that's pretty much it and we'll come back and show you the finished product and well how i put it together but this is pretty much part one, so stay tuned. 
okay guys and welcome back to my channel it's been a few days since we last did the first part of our pour and it's just kind of been uh yeah a couple of days but nevertheless we are here and that is the finished product of the pour she came out so pretty like i love her so we're going to demold her. She is super like solid because she's been sitting for a minute. So I know she is like super solid. And we're going to go ahead and take her out. Super beautiful. You see that? Like gorgeous. Like super shiny. Amazing. I love it. I'm going to take the other one out and then we're going to start working on this frame. Make sure, guys, that you like the video if you see what you like. If you like what you see, I should say. Make sure you like the video, you hit subscribe, you hit the notification bell so that you can be notified on our upcoming videos, our lives that we're planning on doing, and that way you'll be notified of everything that we plan on doing moving forward. Um, we do have a picnic coming up that we will be setting up a table and a booth on June 6th. So hopefully we might come live for that. And I'm just trying to see something for a future, future bag. But nevertheless, there she goes. She is pretty. So we're gonna set this to the side and work on the frame so i told you to stay tuned right stay tuned to the very end i was going to give you some tips on how i maneuvered my frame look at her she's not gold she's silver so but nevertheless here are my side pieces we're going to get ready to attach them so that we can get our bag glued in and um, stay tuned, and I'll tell you how how we obtain this sturdy, durable look. So first, what we're gonna do? I have my double sided tape. I have my film here. I've cut down into um, four by four. I want to say four by four squares or four by six squares um because i've pre-measured them they could be they could have been a little wider so you know that's just me and what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach them in like we always do um however you want to cut cut it in a angle and i did have a template somewhere for these but we don't so what i'm gonna do is I'm just gonna template myself, which is super easy. And all you do is you're gonna take off as the least amount from this corner. Well, I better measure it just to be nice and safe because we wanna, we wanna make sure. From the corner out, but you wanna leave the width of the bag as much as you can, if that makes sense. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I got my square here. I'm gonna start from this corner and I just wanna take a little bit of it out. Just that little bit right there because I wanna keep it as wide as this four inches. And I'm just gonna mark it there so I'll know where to cut. I just wanna keep the, the, the width of it as much as I can, as much as I can. And I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do the same thing, even it out and you know mine can come just a little bit out there and take that little bit off <clears throat> so it's kind of like a a triangle without the point so i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about i don't know if you can see probably can't see that because of the reflection but i'm gonna cut it and then i'll show you show you then what i'm talking about Cut that side out and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut right there from the corner in so it's like a triangle piece but without the top part okay it's flat across here <clears throat>
So I'm going to take the film off because it's got a protective film on it on both sides. And I'll leave, again, the link below where you can find this. It comes in different shades. I just got one sheet and I'm definitely going to order more because I love it. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, since it's already curling that way, I'm going to fold it in. So, I'm going to fold just a little bit of this in to make a crease and press it. And that's where I'm going to align my tape so it'll sit in that groove and it'll kind of give it a nice press. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Not even... <clears throat> maybe like a quarter just a quarter of an inch of a, just enough to put the tape you know right in that groove not too wide and I'm just pressing so to make that little groove and I'm going to take my tape and this is some I got this from the Dollar Tree actually and it is a super glue double sided tape and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it right here by by finger, and I'm gonna cut that much off because we don't want to waste none. And then I'm gonna split it in half because I don't need it to be this wide. This tape is super durable, inexpensive, and you can use it for so many different projects. <clears throat> take it and I'm gonna put it right along that groove that I just made and it kind of fits perfect see it was right there and then peel the backing off once you get it on there good give it a good press and then peel it back you know okay you're gonna take it wide in at the top small in at the bottom Come in from the side. Get it in there pretty good. And then I'm going to take <clears throat> my good old popsicle stick. Good old popsicle stick. And I'm going to use it to press it up along the metal frame to secure it. And it's in there. It's tight. I'm going to take this side and wrap it in. And then we're going to do the same to there. And that's going to give you your protective um, part to keep your belongings inside, keep them from falling out. When you open your purse, keep your purse from opening all the way up on you, dropping all your nice belongings. You might, you know, it might be some stuff in there you don't want people to actually see or whatever the case may be. I'm gonna take that off and we just gonna place that right in that groove like we did the other side. Trying not to to put it closer to the to the side be, backing before you stick it, cause you don't want it to. And then once you get it in place, once it's in place, take your popsicle stick and press <clears throat> and press it. And press, and that's one end. And voila. You got your protective shield at the bottom. It's going to protect all your belongings. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Take my ruler. And try to get it right on the edge. And I should have cut cut them at the same time, right, but we didn't, and that's okay, we 
doing the same thing. So we're just going to do it to the other side. see what I'm doing crease that in same way just to kind of give you again a nice little a little crease in there when it goes into the to the frame <clears throat> double-sided tape measure it out Split it in half. And you can tell it's like super sticky, but you can you can do it and just take patience. And we're gonna place it right in that groove. <clears throat> And I think it's so cool um, that a person can come and see their purse being made. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on this side. And we'll see. We're going to see if that just kind of go ahead and speed up the process. Is that right? Yep, yeah, that's right. Boom. It's going to go in like that. Short side towards the bottom, wide side towards the top. So we're going to peel off our backing. Place it down in that groove. Popsicle stick, once you get it in there, press. Move it in there. Take the backing, yeah, I like it, I like that. So you'll start sticking them at the same time. It just makes it a little bit faster, just a little bit. And anything to speed up the process is what we want. I'm gonna pull this, pull this down just a little bit. And you can kind of, you know, get it in place where you, where it, it's not having any gaps. So let me bend this out so that I can position it. Uh -uh. It's so sticky where I want it, it to be right there, right there. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and flush across the bottom. belongings snap and snap ready to go all right moving on moving on now we what we about to do is e6000 now you can do either e6000 which that's what i do or you can do uv resin it's your choice i like the e6000 and i'm just gonna put it right in the grooves And I like the um, this particular bottle for this particular project, the E6000 with the little nozzle. 
it just gives you a little bit more control over where the product is going. Because it has that little nozzle. Put your top back on right away. That kind of keeps it from messing up, getting clumpy. And we're going to pop her into place. Make sure she is in place all the way around. Watch her come to life, guys. Watch her come to life. Because she is already like each component is giving me life. Each component is giving me life, so... Please, if you like what you are seeing, please hit like, hit the subscribe buttons, guys, right? And if you want to continue to see projects or you want me to do something in particular, you can let me know. We always open for donations as well. I'll leave the cash app link below, PayPal me below. Our, our web store will be open as well where you can find or order anything that we have yes but I like to share right what we do and then those people who purchase the kiki couture clutch and it's couture because these are each custom made each custom made one of a kind none is made we are gonna let her gel together and then we'll come back and decorate her but that is how she is looking super super beautiful so stay tuned all right, guys, we are back with our glam purse, right? Kiki Couture Clutch Bags. Yes, this is my blue one. Super cute. And so we're going to get ready to decorate her with some stones. Well, studs. And that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to show you how... I don't have to cut them. I decorate the bags with my stones. And even though they will stick by themselves, I like to put a little bit of E6000, a nice thin, I mean, real, real thin. It's like you literally just dragging it. Layer of E6000. And then I take my stones. My, my dog is going to get on my nerve. He's going to have to wait till I lay this first one down. And I just lay them down. On the E6000 bead that I put it. Try to make sure that they nice and straight before they set up. And I just like E6000 because it holds the stones. And just make sure that's in place. You just got to be on camera some way, somehow. Okay. I'm going to get another strip. And I'm going to space it as even as I can. 
And on this end, since it's a stone, I'm going to leave it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the string. It's like a plastic little string here that they are attached to. And I'm going to cut that so I can position this right where I need it to be without it falling over the edge. And it looks cohesive. Come along the side. the same thing nice thin do not want a lot of glue apron off my pants so I'm be wiping stuff on my pants because okay that's looking cute nice and straight now I don't go all the way down I mean around the bag I just go right to this edge applying the stones because you don't need to have stones on the bottom of the bag when it's going to be sitting on the bottom. I'm just making sure that they're nice and straight on this side. You want everything to look okay. as perfect as possible. And they'll dry um, over a couple of hours or so. And it's lined up straight across the top, so that looks good. And go to this other side. And we're going to do the same thing. Six thousand, nice thin bead. Place my stone. Just gonna position it so that it's even and cohesive with the line so you can't tell and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other side that's one side and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side give me a minute Alright guys, so here we go, Kiki Couture, the blue glam purse. I added some iridescent stones in between the silver ones 
I added this, um, it's like a Cuban link chain to it, silver, and she is everything. Like super pretty, super gorgeous. Put it on my hip so you can see how it looks. That is how she looks on the hip. up, put the stuff down in there, close it up, or you can take the chain off, carry it as a clutch, right, and still be glam, cute, and one of a kind, okay, make sure that you hit like and subscribe, guys, okay, make sure you give me some thumbs up, <laughs> like my channel go ahead and subscribe guys and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content i love you guys so much thank you so much for all you of you that have subscribed thus far and always let me know who you are when you subscribe we love to see you we love to know who you are so we can get better familiar and acquainted yes 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 and then i'll throw you a little shout out you know what not I appreciate you so far, but there she go. Nice and beautiful.